morning, this is Novi, the stylish Asian man and welcome to vlog number 33. I am in Sydney. It's a very beautiful morning here in Sydney. It's around 8 o'clock in the morning. It's Thursday today. It's the 24th of July 2020. And I am with my very good friend. Hi. Hi. <laughs> welcome to Sydney. <laughs> Thanks, Idol Nad. Well, how are you guys doing? I hope wherever you are in the world, you're doing well, you're going fine, and everything is okay in your life. Hi, Nov. Sir Naj. Hello to all the subscribers of Novi. <laughs> Sir Naj, how yes. are you feeling today? I feel tired. <laughs> After last night, uh, God, we had to stay up until like 1 a.m. That was like a long day for us. Mm. And what about you? You're going to have another long day today. Yes, long day today. Um, firm in the morning, um, teaching in the afternoon, and special guest at night. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nags, for having me, for mm. your hospitality. And I'm going to have a busy day today. I'm going to apply for my visa, going to Europe, and I'm going to visit another friend as well. And um, later, I'm going back to see Nags. Yeah, and we're going to go to... Circular key. Yes, and we need to go to um, Opera House because I need to show you uh, Opera House, Sydney Opera House, because it's one of the icons of Australia. It's the best icon, I should say. <laughs> what about um, Uluru? I haven't been to Uluru now. That's one of my goals. Of course, it's good. Before uh, yeah. I leave, I went Australia. there um, two years ago. It's beautiful. Yeah, but I was there when I went there. Um, I couldn't do it. Yeah, because the you know the. Aboriginal communities in Uluru are very much against people climbing over the rock mm -hmm. So um, we were discouraged, but it was free. It was still okay, but I didn't. I didn't do it yeah. Hello, so I'm just heading to the city and going to the French Embassy and apply for my visa there Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Hello, good morning. It's a beautiful day in Sydney today. It's a bit chilly, but it's very nice. The buildings are amazing.
morning. So I'm just on my way to the uh, French Embassy to apply for my visa. And I'm scared and excited at the same time. I hope, I mean, they let me in, right? Bonjour, je m'appelle Novi. Je viens du Philippines. Maintenant, j'habite d'Australie. Ça va? I'm here in Sydney at the moment. I've just come from from the French Embassy and I've done my student visa application and they said I won't be hearing back from them for three weeks so I'm hoping for a positive outcome but I'm sure it will be. It's a beautiful day in Sydney at the moment and um, I'm outside of Queen Victoria building one of the oldest buildings here in Sydney and I can see from here the Westfield Towers as well. Um, it's not the usual busy Sydney that I know, but I think everyone is doing their own thing. Well, um, I hope Sydney doesn't experience the same troubles that Melbourne has at the moment. But I think everyone should still be keeping safe. Hello, so I'm inside Queen Victoria building at the moment and this building is so pretty. I'm sure I've been here before but um, I didn't remember how good this was. And yes, it's a beautiful day outside um, as well and I've just come from the French Embassy. So you know, I have this desire to live in France and to pursue further master studies in law. And Although the situation is a bit difficult at the moment, I'm still keeping my hopes up. I think it's very important to stay positive, but still be safe, but still be positive. I think, I think you can only reach your dreams if you actually have the courage to be brave and to actually make steps to make those things happen. And I am making those things happen because I believe that there is rainbow after the rain and what I hope to come out of this pandemic is not only losses but wins as well and I think you should do that too. Life is hard. Life is always gonna be hard but if you try to make steps towards progress then things can happen. In, in going to France and making a financial sacrifice, I'm, I'm losing job security, I'm losing 
financial security and it's very hard for me to to go through but I think it will be okay it's a decision that perhaps not many other people will take but sometimes in life you have to make big bold decisions for you to get ahead in life and if it doesn't work out what's the worst that can happen right you can probably fail but it's not necessarily it's not technically a failure you would have learned lessons from it and i choose not to fail i choose to win because again i'm a filipino and although i am an australian now as well i will always be filipino I'm so happy today. I'm full of hope and full of pride. I think it's such a big milestone in my life to actually do a thing that I like doing, to actually, you know, try to live in Europe and and pursue further studies in law and become the lawyer that I wanted to be and not the lawyer that the society wants me to be. I take pride in that because it's a decision that I've made myself and I take accountability for my own actions and then I'm, I'm just so happy and I'm so happy as well today because the weather is so nice Sydney is so beautiful look at that Hello, so I'm here in Sydney again, welcome back, and I'm about to go to my friend Anne and Ron and their new baby uh, Theo and, and, and Ia, and I'm going to see another friend, um, Anne's twin sister Michelle as well, so I'm looking forward to it, I'm heading that way now, and I'm just trying to to appreciate the beauty of Sydney at the moment it's it's such a beautiful city <laughs> 